Okay, having um, installed the bearing assembly and block, let's carry on with the turbine side and install the jet assembly and the valve. So, here's a valve, here's the jet assembly with the jets, and what I'll do is I'll poke that through from the inside. I'll take the O-ring supplied and push that on from the outside, which also usefully acts to hold it in place. Now, we don't normally require Teflon tape um, as a sealer, um, although you may choose to use it. If you purchase a, a toolkit from us, you get some Teflon tape included. But I recommend using a little bit of grease, it could be automotive grease or even Vaseline, to help lubricate those threads. The plastic does tend to bind. So I'll put some of that on now. Pick up the valve and note that one end has the word jet on it. That side obviously screws onto the jet assembly. The other end of the valve will be threaded for the thread that you specify when you order the turbine, either BSP or NPT. So we'll take that jet end again and holding on to the jet holder from the inside, having lubricated it, it should turn fairly easily on till it tightens up. We always tighten them with the, the valve handle to the top. I'll take the other one. Having only hand tightened the valves and the jet holders, uh, further tightening can be achieved by using either one of the custom spanners that comes with a tool kit, or a pipe wrench or any other spanner that's used for plumbing purposes. The next step we'll do is we'll fasten the Pelton runner to the front of the shaft.